And now we've reached the final day of bus week. So we've already travelled on midi buses, full-size buses, tags and arctics. So today, let's look at the final one we're going to be looking at in this series, a Surfside bus line to Bustech CDI, which is a double-decker bus. Getting a double-decker in southeast Queensland is easier said than done, but fortunately, there is one bus route that is my saviour. I headed down the Gold Coast and got myself on board a 777, which, due to coronavirus, the fact that it goes to Gold Coast Airport means that a once super busy service that warranted a double-decker is now extremely quiet. I was one of just three passengers on board and was able to get the best seat in the house on the top deck overlooking through the front window. So I've got a beautiful panoramic view. So enjoy these shots of us leaving Broad Beach South Station and heading away from the tram terminus. Today you join me from the top deck of a Gold Coast Bus Tech CDI, which is a really nice bit of Australian made, locally designed and locally built kit to support our industry. And I'm very lucky because it's a very quiet day, so I've managed to get a nice seat right up the top. And if I really want, I can sit in prime position in front of the big window. The 777 is the main bus that these um, double deckers are used on. And Predominantly speaking, it's the main it's the main way people get from the, the Gold Coast itself from the other bits of the transport network to Gold Coast Airport. So it's usually a much busier service than this. However, with COVID-19, there's a heap less flights. So Once on board the CDI, you'll notice that the interior is fairly conventional, especially on the top deck. You'll find that the seats are almost all facing forward, however there is a rearward seat just behind the stairs up to the top deck. The seats are all a fairly standard comfortable bench seat, trimmed in bus tech signature fabric which is a very familiar design. But they're pleasant, they're clean and tidy inside and overall they're quite comfortable. Pro tip however, if it's a hot day that window seat, which is really beautiful, is not a great spot to be. The light beaming through makes it really, really hot. So you'll want to sit a few rows back to you can get better air conditioning. Unlike the popular 700, the 777 is a express service and only makes a select number of stops along the route. So I caught the bus all the way up to Burley Heads, which was a short, probably 15 minute journey. But I still got to get a good feel for what these vehicles are like how they're very comfortable, nice and quiet. And overall, they provide a really nice passenger experience up on the top deck. Unfortunately, I couldn't get too much footage of the lower deck, but I would say they do feel a lot more dark and dingy downstairs. That being said, it is really designed for short journeys as there are very few seats downstairs, but there is also a lot of luggage storage, which is handy especially as this is predominantly an airport bus. And this intersection we're about to go through here at Nobby's Beach is actually um, a bus priority intersection. So we, you'll probably be able to see out the side of the window that as we go past, the other cars don't get a green light at straight away. So that's what, so we can um, overtake and get the bus moving in front to speed up this service, which is really handy. So we're almost at Burley Heads and it's just about time to jump off the bus so I better hit that stop bell which looks awfully like one that belongs on a Volgren bus and then head around and have a look at Burley Heads as well as the beach both of which are really lovely. There's some shops, restaurants, really nice places to dine and the beach itself is always really nice.
I'm now at Burley Heads at Matt was the bus tech CDI with Surfside Bus Lines, which is a great way to get tourists around on the Gold Coast. So I can highly recommend the experience if you want to get some great views whilst traveling around the GC. Well, it's been a big week and I hope you've enjoyed Bus Week. So we've looked at five really cool Queensland buses. We've gone from the midi to the full size, to the three axle, to the Arctic and the double decker. And we've gone through Monday to Friday. And I'd like to say thank you very much for keeping watching. Thanks for supporting Talking Planning. I really appreciate the fact that there's more and more people that are joining in, finding out and being really curious about the stuff that I do. So I'm really stoked. And I should point out that tonight's a Friday. It's just after five o'clock. So there's only one thing left to do, really. Cheers. Have a good evening and thanks for joining me on Talking Planning.